In the years following my trip to Enstig Sanitarium, I would often sense Adrias's presence nearby. Leah would unexpectedly ask about her mother at these times, or feverishly repeat the witch's name in the throes of restless sleep. But Adria remained hidden, eluding my attempts to track her down. What purpose brought the witch so near to us? Was she checking the well-being of her daughter, or had we crossed paths with Adria merely by chance? These vexing questions gnawed at me, leading to many sleepless nights. Before long, it, it became quite difficult to maintain focus on my pressing end of days investigation. To my relief, though, I at long last found answers while conducting research in Chaldeanism's great library. A fellow scholar told me of a witch matching Adria's description who had recently passed through the city. He claimed she had visited the library, inquiring about famous battles fought during the Sin War and the Mage Clan Wars, the desolate sands, the gates of the ancient Vidjun, and the ruins of the Cathedral Light. These were all the names relayed to me. Immediately, I realized the significance of the scholars' tale. In Tristram, Adria and I had discussed these same historical sites. They were places that the notorious Rodrum Sultan Kul had frequented centuries ago. According to some mages and scholars, angels and demons had perished at many of these locations. And with that revelation, the shards of half-truths began taking greater shape. Adria had always been strangely fascinated with Kul and, in particular, his most deplorable creation, the Black Soul Stone. Had this been her quest all these years, to seek the cursed artifact out? Mother admitted her connection to the Coven. She says it was part of her quest to wage war against the Hells, but she confessed that she went too far. I, I haven't told Tyriel or the others. I, I can't. They might lose trust in Adria at the time when we need to work together most. I spent many long hours scouring my texts for information about Kool, hoping to find a meaningful connection between the mage and Adria. Doing so left me even more bewildered about the witch's intentions. Try as I might, I could not discern any common ground between the two individuals. Kool, an empty and broken man, had created the Soulstone to imprison the essence of angels and demons. His ultimate goal was then to use the pulsing crystal as a surrogate heart, filling the cold void in his soul. Adria, however, did not suffer from Cole's unique dilemma. Therefore, what interest would she have with the Black Soul Stone? What possible use would it serve her? Looking back over my notes now, I come to a conclusion, albeit a tenuous one. Adria was never seeking out the Soulstone itself. Instead, I believe she hoped to learn Cole's methods of imprisoning angels and demons. Mastering such knowledge would grant a person considerable power, of course. And if there is one constant I have seen among the many contradictions of Adria's life, it is her drive for power. This all raises a greater and far more troubling question. If Adria succeeds in learning the secrets of imprisoning angels and demons, how will she use this newfound power? Adria wasn't just seeking power. By studying Kool's methods, she believed she could find a way to trap and destroy the seven evils forever. <laughs>